Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware of TAFB and TAS and how to set up the parameters with the software on the computer. So first of all, you need to download the driver and upgrade the device on your computer. You can go to the Radio Link website to download all the necessary tools. Is if it, the website you open is in Chinese, you can change the language here and then go to support the firmware download and scroll down and you can find the TFB firmware here. The driver is on the top of the page, so click to download. And because the, the file you download is zip, zipped, so maybe you need the tool to unzip it. Here is the tool provided on the website as well. So let's unzip the file. And then there are two files in the document. You need to update the, the device first. So click the driver for Win 10. And then you can see you you need to remember the the file location. Then right click PC your computer and choose properties. Then there's a device manager. And there's a port here a port here so you right click to update driver software and browse my computer for driver software and choose the and browse for the file you just downloaded we just put it there the down the chrome and then select the the com file and click next and then it will say Windows has determined the driver software for your device is up to date. Now we close it. Close it. And then we go back to the file we just download. The upgrade drive and click the other file. Before you install, it, you need to connect your transmitter TAFB or TAS to your computer by a data by a USB cable of data transmission and then switch the transmitter on and then click the setup exe to install the driver wait a little bit like half a minute 30 seconds and then the driver install success means the driver has been installed successfully we click OK then we move to next step. Download the upgrade, the firmware, firmware upgrade tool. Click the download. Then open the file. Unzip the file like before. And then you can see that the firmware is here. The, the tool is here, sorry. Then you can see that we need to choose the correct COM port. What is your co correct COM port? You need to go to check. So this PC, right click and check manage. And then the device manager here. And then the port here. So just now you just connect your transmitter with your computer and switch it on so your your transmitter should be recognized by your computer mine is com5 so here you choose com5 yeah it's correct then click connect after the moment you click connect you need to switch on your transmitter quickly like within one second you click connect so the disconnect the word disconnect with switch you connected in green 
Then we select the firmware. We didn't download the firmware yet, so we need to scroll down on here on the page of the firmware. Here, you can click to download the firmware. The latest firmware is 301, version 301. Then the tool here, we select the firmware, we just download it here. Ver TAFV version 301. Open. And then we click start to start. And when the green bar moves to the end, pass will show. It means that the firmware has been upgraded. So this, that is how the firmware done. There's some beep sound from the transmitter. It means that the firmware has been flashed successfully. Then we move to the next step, how to set up the parameters by the software in your computer. We need the tool as well. So we click to download the tool, parameter setup tool for computer. Parameter setup tool. So we unzip it. Then you can find a tool here, double click it. And there's, you need to click, choose the correct COM port. Like I just checked my computer, it's COM5. So you choose COM5 here, and then click open to connect. Switch on your computer and turn on. And then we click read. See, the version we just we just upgraded our firmware is v version three o one. So here, this is three o one, and it's stick mode two. This, and then when this part turn gray, it means that the computer is connected correctly. So after you click the open, it turns to off. You need to click read to to input the data from the transmitter into the software. And when you, whenever you click read, there's a 2D sound from the transmitter. So let's try to modify something from, try, try to modify the data. Let me see. 20. 20. Then let's click save. It will save as um, a file. So I put it here, save it as model one data, save. And then once you, then when we finish up, modify the data, we need to click update. And there's a D sound from the transmitter, means that the data are all input into the transmitter successfully. So whenever you modify the data, don't forget to click update to input the data to your transmitter. And then let's try to modify something again. This is, okay, we just put it here. So let's put it one, two, and this is 50, 50. So this is 96, 96. And then, we click to save. So let's save it, for example, as model to save. And we just click update to input the data into the transmitter TAF, TAFV. So then we disconnect it. And whenever you need the data, you just save, the, like the model one. We just switch on the, the transmitter and click open and then you click load to browse to choose the, the model just selected. So model 1, we just save it as model 1 file name and click OK. See, the data has been input into the software. So don't forget to click update to input the data into the transmitter. So what if you want the, the data back into back to factory default, for example? So if you need the default data, close the, the parameter setup tool, open 
um, switch on the transmitter, click open to connect the transmitter. All the data here are default one, factory default ones. So you just need to click update and all the default data has been input into the transmitter. Make sure to click update. So if you need the model one data, we just saved, click, click load and browse the data here, model one, for example, and then click OK. See, the model we have just saved has been, have all input into the software. And don't forget to click update to input the data into the transmitter. And that's click read to read the data here. And you can, of course, this is the transmitter alarm. You can modify the voltage and the stick mount. And this is all for today, showing you how to, how to set up the parameters in the software of the computer and how to upgrade the firmware. firmware. And uh, the steps are exactly, exactly the same for TAS. Just make sure that you download the correct firmware, especially for TAS. And that's it.